Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming and I am back to you with another unboxing from Tabletop Scenics. Today I have their Hive City Mansion, a new release coming out soon, uh, if not already by the time this video comes out. And uh, so yeah, this mansion is, is super cool and I also have the Hive City Streets lights. So let's check these both out. <music> So today I'm going to open these both up and these are two MDF kits um, from Tabletop Scenics which is basically uh, the guys who do the terrain over at Cromlech which all of us know and love Cromlech very well if we are, have been into miniatures for a while and, uh, and so they have a number of series of uh, terrain packs and so this is the Gothic Spires Hive City. Um, and so you guys saw me unbox the Hive City Chapel and build it and paint it. And so we're going to unbox this and build it and paint it to, uh, to match um, so that we can keep filling out this uh, Hive City board. And so this one's super cool. They just finished designing it up and sent me one early so that I could show it to you guys. And it is like, oh my gosh, like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 11 MDF boards in here to make up this one building. So if you guys know um, their stuff, the, uh, the Tabletop Scenics guys do some of the best, most highly detailed MDF terrain that's out there right now. Um, I have not seen stuff that's as detailed as this, and it really sets this stuff apart. Like if you want some nice detailed terrain, this is it, man. This is it. Um, it paints up super quick. Um, building does take a little extra time because you got to do all the layers of, of detail, but it's totally worth the, uh, the effort in that regard. And so let's, uh, let's throw the camera down on these um, and, uh, and just take a look at what's inside. So here are two kits laid out and ready to roll. So I'm excited to open them up and see what's in it. Now, first things first, very important. Um, there is plastic on these and a thin piece of paper covering the top. And so you're gonna wanna, you're, you know, the temptation is to take your hobby knife and just cut it right open and get, put a big gash across the side uh, or the top of it. And you really don't wanna do that. What you really wanna do is come in on the side of it. Be very careful about how you open these because um, the last thing you want is to come across a nice MDF terrain board and put a big line through it um, with your knife. And so definitely you want to do, you want to come in on the sides of these for sure. So there's pro, pro tip numero uno. You don't have to pay extra for that. That one's free folks. We're doing this all day. All right, so there's number one. Take the plastic off. Number two. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. There's so much wood there. Cool. So, all right, so let's, let's put this Hive City Mansion to the side for one minute and just focus on the street lights. So, uh, you can see this kit is a level one kit, so it's very easy. Um, the two buildings that, uh, the one I did last time and then this, the one we're gonna do today is level three. Um, so, oh my gosh, I wonder what a level five is like. <laughs> uh, okay, so it looks like you get three of these sprues um, and they look exactly the same. And I guess each uh, one of these builds two street lamps. Yeah, it looks about right to me. So there is two, three, four. It looks like a tiered base going from bottom to, to top. And then the, uh, the street lamp um, probably gets layered over three times. So it's thick enough. And so you glue three, three of them together and then you just slot it right in there. Um, yeah, probably something like that. But hey, you know what? We can just look at the instructions which are provided right here. Um, so there you go, nice little set. Possibly, possibly. Bueller, there it is. Yeah, totally. So you just layer the three of them together and then plop it in there. Um, should be fairly simple enough. We'll build them up for you real quick so you can see how that goes. Um, awesome. And then you guys can see some of the other cool stuff they do here as well. So, all right, now that we um, have kind of seen them, now let's zoom up close so you get an idea of the detail. The laser 
These guys have a real good laser doing whatever they're doing. They, they do really fine cuts, really thin cuts, and that is, that's really what you're looking for. Um, I mean, some of these MDF companies, uh, the cuts are really fat, and so you don't get as nice, clean uh, details on them. But man, these guys are getting like the tiny, like the little eyeball even on this street lamp on that Eagle. Man, to get that is super, super hard. Like that, most lasers don't cut that fine. So these guys are doing a great job at, uh, at what they're doing. So sweet. There you go. That is the street lamps. Let's move on and take a look at the mansion. Okay. And here you have the hive city mansion. You can see, like I said before, this is a level three kit. Um, the kind of image they have here for you shows this nice kind of weathered up, beat up brick building with chimney and some cool, uh, graded windows and some kind of techie mechanicum stuff on the sides. And so this should be really fun to do up. We'll see how it goes. Um, so let's check out what we got going on here. Looks like we got, it's a thicker piece right here. Um, so it's probably some of the flooring. So it's pretty basic. It's probably the insides. Oh, there we go. You can see it a lot better there. Uh, one of the big wall panels, some of the windows maybe here. Um, all of the, uh, the ramparts on the top. Um, man, those look, those are really sharply defined arrow tops there. That's nice. Um, you can see the numbering system makes it really easy because there's a lot of pieces here, uh, that will mean, um, it's going to be hard to find. So each like find pieces as you go, cause there's, what did I say? 11 pieces of wood here. Um, so they're all labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. And then they each have a number. Um, so there you go. Sweet. So let's just kind of scan each one see what they're looking like some of the bigger wall panels here very cool simple now this is where you get into the good stuff right here oh so delicate so detailed man look at that um, you do have to go in and see these windows here they have like some of them uh, haven't fallen out so you could just take your hobby knife and you just you just poke those little bits out um, same with these, these things right here. You just poke those, poke those out. Um, awesome, man, this is so detailed. These are probably steps and stuff. Oh, cool. So the brick is actually lasered on, which is amazing because that detail will keep when we paint it. Um, so that's really, really handy. The amount of detail that you can put on these things is just incredible. So a lot of the little windowy bits have fallen out. So I'm just going to throw those in the garbage. Bah, easy. All right. Super cool. You can see some of this MDF stuff. Like it just pops out, right? And then you can, uh, you know, I don't know what they got here. There's probably windows and stuff. Now all the walls, it looks like are at least three layers with some of the windows, maybe having a couple more layers in there. Um, so you see most of them are flat right now. We'll probably start to come across some soon that have all the brick deets. Wow. This is so nice. It's thinly carved like banisters with vines, man. Not a lot of MDF kits have the details. Look at this stuff here on this, um, uh, little pillar for the steps. Are the steps in the picture? No, you can't see that. So it must be some kind of step ladder in the front or on the other side of the building that we can't see. Oh, I'm, I'm even more excited to build this now. Very cool. Very cool. It's part of the flooring probably. Very detailed. Love it. There's our other uh, side of that stairwell and some of the second layer of walls or inner layer of walls. All right. There's a bunch of bits on that one too. Get rid of that. All right, some of the larger chunks, keep those to the side just in case. Oh, wow. Yeah, that bricking and they even got some bricks that are all cracked and stuff. So they've done quite a bunch of details here for you with the lasers. It's fabulous. Some of the more mechanical bits hanging off the side of the walls, I'm giving that extra detail and texture. A lot of, uh, a lot of MDF building kits, guys, they're only, their walls are only one layer deep. And so they're not very detailed. So this you can really see with the texturing and the multi layers, like you just get a really nice kit. 
look at this floor for example this is probably this might be the roofing i'm not sure but man all of this super deep that's actually laser etched in there so when you paint that that all stays there um, and you see it which is really helpful it makes the painting process so much simpler wow there's all your brick bits oh my gosh so good so detailed man these guys know how to do it right wow okay look at this window right here look at that detailing man that's amazing I can't say enough about how good of a job these guys do beautiful window frame piece oh man and it just gets better and better look at that oh man yo they're they're like that's not on the image man they're hiding some of the best parts of this thing on the other side <laughs> oh man I'm so I'm like man I'm getting more and more excited as this goes on Wow look how intricate that is oh. I, could, I could break it just by breathing on it but actually no I'm pushing on it, it seems it's, it's fairly robust so I'll take a dry brush no problem it's great more of these super highly detailed windows here fabulous job grating on the side of the wall beautiful some more I don't know what you call it um, vine carving or not embroidery uh, embellishments very beautiful beautiful almost at the end yeah just more of the uh, the finishing layers so these last layers are the thinner pieces of wood because they just kind of sit on the top as a veneer adding texture and detail doorways tons of windows and openings and stuff it's very steampunk the combination of uh, of sci-fi and like brickwork and all that and whoa wow look at all this it's amazing super cool I imagine some kind of like chimney stack goes across here oh yeah that's probably exactly where the chimney stack goes oh nice very cool man these guys pff, just crushing it just crushing it great job fabulous job some falling out brick pieces <laughs> nice well done adding that extra layer of detail and depth and then of course the instructions man you need the instructions of these guys because the kits are so detailed you'll spend a lot of time in here um, color coded for what you're working on and uh, obviously the bits are all numbered and stuff so you know what bits to grab in advance and uh, step by step build it from the ground up these are high quality instructions man look at all this 3d rendering and stuff looks really great very very impressed can't wait to show you guys how to build this and then what we'll do is we'll do like a a quick but highly effective paint job for this one amazing 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 all right wow oh here's the front of it oh man i love the front facing of that building that is super cool. oh, i didn't see these steps on the uh, top man oh you guys are gonna have to check out the building and painting video to see this guy really come to life so wow um also guys check out their website too because you can see this is one of my favorite terrain kits um guys if you if you like this video and you comment a bunch um then uh Maybe we can start convincing them to send us over some of this orc terrain for or, uh, for Jay's orcs and Jay's orc table. I'd love to show this stuff off to you guys. Um, so yeah, so the, the better we do, the more likely we are to get some of this orc terrain from the Orkenberg set. Um, so there we go. Guys, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. So there you have it, guys. The Hive City Mansion from Tabletop Scenics. I am very excited to put this together. You guys saw the detail that's on this kit. You guys saw how it works. This will be a great piece. Um, I'm thinking even this will work in Malifaux. I think this will work for us for the other side. This will be a great line of sight blocking piece of terrain in 40K um, to be some kind of like Imperial uh, city or Imperial, 
yeah, I guess Imperial City or Outpost or something. Um, and uh, man, it just it works in a in a whole number of different games. I think, yeah, ah, uh, this would be a perfect building for Malifaux. Um, man, the other side too. We're getting ready to paint some of that stuff. So uh, maybe even. Uh, Wild West Exodus, where we're doing some games of that coming up soon. So I think that would be kind of a neat, have like this this nice uh, mansion in the midst of like a Wild West uh, style town. Uh, we have a bunch of like cowboy terrain and stuff too, like Wild West terrain. So plopping this mansion down in there. Um, Cause Wild West Exodus is like, it's like steampunky Wild West too. So any kind of steampunk science fiction um, game this would work in. So uh, it could be like, Maybe some like post-apocalyptic stuff too. Um, I'm thinking like uh, maybe like Ash Barker's Last Days. You could use this in that um, his zombie game. That'd be really neat. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned. This is going to be a three-video series. We we unbox it, showed you all the cool stuff in there. Um, I'm going to do some more how to build MDF terrain tutorials where I just walk step by step through how to build these kits because they are so detailed. Um, I think it's highly uh, highly useful for you guys to have a video tutorial to walk through instead of just the um, just the. Uh, instruction booklet so that I can talk to you about some of the mistakes that I make along the way and walk you through uh, exactly what to do and all that and so and even just if you've never built an MDF kit and if you bought one of these to start off with um, you might get a little intimidated so hopefully this video helps you on your journey through building your first MDF kits because Tabletop Scenix is definitely um, they're definitely they're definitely a good one to start with um, you can start with one of the basic more basic sets but then you wouldn't have these beautiful kits and you know what guys they don't they don't pay me to 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 say this stuff to you they just send us this stuff to show off and so that we can uh we can make some videos and uh, show off the cool new stuff that they're doing so that's it you're i'm not just i'm not just blowing smoke um the, these really are fantastic kits and so all right let's uh let's shut this down for now and stay tuned in the future for the building and painting video for this guy um, so hey, if you like that video, love if you jump down there and hit subscribe and click like and the little bell so that you know when those future, two future videos are coming out for this series um, as well. Guys, you can support us in a number of ways. Number one is get one of these cool Encounter Wargaming shirts on Spreadshirt and you can see the link right there. Um, we also uh, have a Patreon. So for as little as a dollar a video, you can support everything we do here on the channel. So you can jump down there the video description below this is really what keeps things going and we give you guys perks and so at the two dollar level you get free swag we just sent out our new custom made encounter wargaming dice can't wait to showcase those for you guys um, as well we uh, we give you guys perks so discounts at hobby retailers um, for the most part online um, so you guys can get some cool uh, discounts on your hobby products that you use all the time so there you go folks there you have it that's it for now we will see you at our next encounter I like a monkey in a rocket on his way back home. Okay. Scratching his head upon a milk.